Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, welcome to your October 2023 tea leaf reading. Yes, I have brewed this lovely cup of tea just for you. I will be sipping on it while I pull some uh, cards for each of the signs. A tea leaf, a card, and tarot clarification to see what might be going on for you in the month of October. And then we'll look at your collective teacup for some more important messages. I invite you to check out your money, career, and business a tarot reading and astrology analysis for the month of October. All the signs have already been done. Uh, I will leave a link to uh, all of those in the description of the video for you so you can check those out as well. All right, let's see what mysteries may be revealed in your tea leaf reading. All right, Cancer, let's see what we have going on for you in the month of October 2023. Let's pick a tea leaf card for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we have for the Cancers? We have a chair filled. Okay. Someone new is entering your life. All right, beautiful. And let's see what we need to know about that for you, Cancer. So, of course, apply the energies to your life. This new person could be, uh, you know, a friend, a lover, a new grandbaby entering the family, a new baby coming in. Someone new uh, could also be a new cat, a new kitten, a new dog, a new pet. All right. So your chair, a chair is being filled in your life. I know my cat Ariel certainly has her favorite chairs to sit in and she fills them quite nicely since she is plump. All right, let's see what we have. We have the judgment. And we have the priestess. Okay. All right. Two major arcanas coming out here, Cancer. Uh, this may be happening around the 20th of the month. It's possible with the judgment here. But when I saw this, I immediately thought of, of course, a karmic past life connection. Absolutely. With this judgment card. Now, interesting with this picture. I hope you can see this. But there are some beautiful stars here in this portal. Uh, and there's one big one here. This really could be some new soul entering your world. So, again some sort of new baby, you know, like uh, your daughter, you find out your daughter's pregnant uh, or whatever, you know, or find out you, you're pregnant, if that's possible for you, of course. Um, but it also can be, I mean, the stars are aligning. There is some sort of destiny that is aligning for you karmically with this someone new, this soul coming in. Now, this is an old soul because the priestess is here. This person, whether male or female, doesn't matter. This person is extremely intuitive. Uh, they may be slightly um, shy at first, okay, okay, with the priestess. They may not talk a lot about themselves. They could, they could, they, could, they don't, well, priestess to me is a little more uh, shy energy. Reticent might be a better word choice, meaning that they don't like to talk too much about themselves. They may be quite chatty and entertaining, but... They keep the conversation light and the important things to really know about them, you have to earn those over time. Uh, so personal information they may not be so forthcoming with. Um, but also with this priestess energy, this does suggest that you will intuitively have a sense of this person's arrival into your life. Because you, of course, <laughs> being one of the most intuitive signs out there, uh, you will have possibly a dream or some other type of intuitive hit. You also, I mean, I think it's very interesting when we meet people uh, for the first time and we get a kind of psychic hit about them as, as the priestess can give. It's like, I think you're going to have that sense. Yes, I've known this person before. And I mean, I think that, well, only speaking from my personal experience, um, that's happened, of course, many different times in my life, um, but particularly with very close associations of friends and people who were more than friends. <laughs> there, there definitely was, <laughs> there was a sense of, um, of, wow, there's a recognition there. I know you, I've known you. This is not our first go round together. So I feel like that's something that's going on here 
uh, for you. Now, what's also interesting, of course, with revelation and awakening and illumination and knowledge, this person may be coming into your life uh, to share, to help, to help you uh, awaken some something within you. So some sort of emotion could be a skill, could be uh, just an experience that the universe is saying, you know, this is what you need right now, Cancer. So this person could be coming in. Who knows how long they're going to stay? I mean, we don't know about that. Um, but they could be coming in to really uh, guide you in a certain direction to get you to experience something that your soul really needs right now for your personal growth. But of course, they could be staying, you know, a long time. I mean... Uh, this, of course, could be, I mean, again, it doesn't matter. It could be male, female. It could be romantic. Absolutely. Very strong possibility. Um, but it also could be, you know, somebody to fulfill some other role rather than romantic. Um, but definitely uh, old soul energy is coming out here big time with both of these cards. Uh, so the 20th may be important. Judgment card is associated a lot with Scorpio energy. So this person might be a Scorpio or they have heavy Scorpio in their chart. This may also be happening in Scorpio season. So you may meet this person after October 23rd. All right, Scorpio, let's see what you need to know for October 2023. And happy birthday to the October Scorpios. I always like Scorpio season and my Scorpio moon really just grooves on it. So I'm looking forward to Scorpio season. All right, let's see what we have for you, Scorpio, October. Ooh, we have a crown. Beautiful. Honor and respect will come to you. Remember, everything's a metaphor for me with these cards. So we will analyze. Let's see what we need to know about that. So this could, of course, be in... Uh, you know, as the, the sense of recognition for your career. Um, but this could also be that somebody is making you the king or queen of their heart. I mean, that's another way to look at the energies. Like I said, I look at everything as metaphors. So, uh, you know, let's see. Or you could also be bestowing the crown upon someone else possible that might become king or queen of your heart. Because you're very, very picky of who gets inside. You may have a lot of different associations, shall we say. But, you know, the people who really get to the interior world are minimal. All right, let's see. We have, what is this? The Ten of Wands, Responsibility and Challenges, okay. And... Well, two stuck together. We'll take them for you. We have the metamorphosis. So we have your energy. We have the death card coming out and we have the page of swords, eagerness and tenacity. All right. Excuse me. This is the knight of swords. Sorry. It's the dawn of whatever, which is the page. Okay. Sorry about that. New, new tarot deck. Still, still learning when they switch up the name. Sometimes it takes a little while to learn the particular deck. I do recommend this deck. I think it is, it is very good. Uh, you can find it on Etsy. Um, it's called the accurate AF tarot deck. Um, you can just put that into Etsy and you can, you can find it for yourself. If you were part of my YouTube, uh, channel membership, divination deck divas, you will have already seen this deck that we debuted on the channel and did readings with. So I encourage you, if you love different Oracle and tarot decks, every month I, I share new ones with uh, the members and it's super, super fun. Uh, we do readings and we have discussions and uh, we do a live every month. Very, very fun. Anyway, let's get back to your reading, Scorpio. Um, all right, so we have a ton of wands. So there is some responsibility and challenge that you have successfully achieved. Okay, you have built a pyramid, right? You have you have significant you have created something significant. I mean, think about the pyramids, right? They're like what one of the seventh one seven wonders of the world, um, and and the pyramids. I've never been. I wish one day to go, um, but they are monumental structures. They're huge, right? If you see pictures of them, I mean, they're. I can only imagine what they must look like in person, like how awe inspiring they must be. But what we have here is that whatever you have created also, whatever responsibility and challenge you have been working on building in your life, it is awe-inspiring. 
you've risen to the challenge, you have been successful, or you will be this month. I mean, this is what we're looking at. But you could have already done this. And the honor and respect is coming because you have completed something and you're being rewarded for all of your work and efforts. Um, with the Knight of Swords here, there is some sort of um, important message that will be being delivered probably in your birthday season because, again, your energy is coming out here with the Metamorphosis, the de Death card, the Profound Change. When you started this, you may not have realized how this particular situation was going to change your life. You just did what you had to do, whatever this is. Again, it may not be work-related. It could be something else. It could be like some sort of family obligation you had, a heavy responsibility. Uh, it could be some creative project you were working on just for yourself, like writing a book or something like that. Achieving this and, and mentally, um, you know, getting it out there in the world, like, again, this, this Knight of Swords to me is like the mental shift you're having now that you've completed the thing, but it's also the mental shift you're having into, wow, I am getting recognized for this. You know, it could be, wow, the family is really just showering me with so much honor and respect for holding the family together and, you know, maybe taking care of somebody who wasn't, who wasn't well, or yes, this writer's group I'm in. They're just loving the completion of my manuscript. They, somebody read it, you know, the beta reader I had and they loved it. And I'm just feeling so accomplished. So there's this positive shift. But like I said, the end result is this can, this is going to bring e an even bigger change for you. This, whatever you have completed this 10 of wands or that you are completing this month. And it's going to bring a change in a way that yes, is shifting your mindset about something because of the Knight of Swords. Um, mentally freeing you perhaps from a situation, um, but also taking you to the next level of your life. Look at how this, this figure here is up leveling. See how they are, they kind of going up. I don't know if you can see that going up to this next level. Um, so there is going to be like with this honor and respect, it's the king or queen, right? It is their up leveling that you are doing with whatever you got going on with this particular situation. Um, I feel also from this that there you are feeling also profoundly grateful. I mean, Scorpio, you are so tenacious. I mean, you hang in the you you've got grit. Like you do what's got to get done. You usually don't complain about it. You just get in there and get it done. And you often do the hard work, especially the hard emotional work that other people shy away from. So, uh you know, be, be really celebratory of yourself with this accomplishment. That's the other point I really want to make here because sometimes you made it, you just like, you just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not always, it's like, you're not always looking for a pat on the back, but this is going to be more than a pat on the back. I think revel in that, enjoy that. Um, and also, like I said, you may not have thought it here about the change that was going to happen, but this, whatever this thing is that you have completed, it is going to bring a profound shift into your life. And I think also with this self-awareness, you have perhaps even for you have uh, through this experience, have greater self-awareness of how strong you really are. And that's saying something because you're already pretty darn strong. All right, Pisces, let's see what we need to know for you about your October 2023, a tea leaf card for you, Pisces. Let's find out. Pisces. All right, we got that one sticking in my hand. Ooh, I like that. The V for victory. Victory in some endeavor. Ooh, love it. Love it. All right, let's see what we need to know about that for you, Pisces. Victory in some endeavor. Okay, V for victory for the Pisces people. All right, what do we have here? We have the shadow. Okay, so that's the uh, Capricorn, the devil, the devil energy. It's a devil card. I think this card is so clever that this design of this card with the shadow, with the with the hand puppet thing. Like I, whoa, that flipped right over. Three of rings, which is the three of coins. Okay. All right. So 
I'm going to read this a couple different ways. The victory in some endeavor may in fact be over some toxic situation involving your work colleagues with the three of coins here or a work situation. It may not necessarily be with colleagues. It could be with something else. Okay, but classically three of coins can be that workplace environment. So there could just be some energy in that uh, situation that is extremely unsavory. But you will have some sort of victory over it. Maybe you leave that toxic environment or you get your own back <laughs> to somebody who, uh, you know, is trying to steal your ideas or put blame on you or do some other, uh, you know, terrible things at work. Um, the other thing, though, to maybe look at here is facing your own um, shadow side which could be your own inertia about making a change. So some of you, if you're needing some sort of career change, like you're realizing, yeah, you know what? I really do have to get a different job or I need more money or this, this is a toxic environment. I got to get out of here or whatever. Um, it's not always easy to make a change. We all get into comfort zones. You know, it's, it's just life. It's human nature. Um, it doesn't mean we can't make changes. It's not, that's not always the preferred thing though for many people. It's like, we found a place, it's better the devil we know, that shadow energy, better the devil we know than making waves and making a change and then who knows where we'll end up and with what will happen. So I think the victory for some of you could be that I'm facing this shadow of, I don't want to change something because I, I you know, don't want to get uncomfortable. So having the victory over that and realizing that you can manifest a different opportunity for yourself. And those of you who have been in that process where you have been shifting out of this and you've been actively like searching for another job or you've been actively speaking up at work and saying, yo, look, this is not okay. This group is, you know, whatever. I think you could see the victory of finally some, you know, new job coming in for you if you've been working the plan, because this is very much planning energy. Uh, there could be maybe some modification to your work schedule or your work team or something like that. And so you have a victory in that way. And, you know, maybe you ask for a transfer. Maybe you finally like face the music. Maybe you don't have to quit your current company, but you, you know, you go to your boss and say, look, can I go to another department or can I work the night shift or whatever? Like there can be something like that. Um, so you know, this is, this is very good. So you could be getting a victory over your own tendencies to just stay stuck, but also there could be a victory over some uh, shenanigans that are going on within your workplace that are making you unhappy. So whichever way we look at this, it's pretty darn good. Uh, the shadow and the, the devil card, as we know, in the traditional tarot has people chained to the situation also. Uh, so again, you're, you could also be making a plan for your freedom, like an escape plan, especially a financial escape plan. Um, and there could be some sort of financial victory in that planning. Like maybe you find a great investment or maybe you find the perfect side hustle right now to build a little nest egg for yourself so you can leave by the first of the year or you can, you know, whatever. So there could be something like that also going on, depending on your situation. So as I always say, apply the energies to your life. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I'm going to finish up this cup of tea and then we are going to see what messages are lurking in your teacup. All right, water signs, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, let's analyze your saucer and your teacup. Apologize for my nail file, but it's a great pointer to look at the energies. I've been staring at your saucer for quite a while. Um, I, I really feel this looks like a very tall building. Now, this could be a, a house. This could be an office building. I feel like this situation over here and even this situation, this could be some sort of light behind it or another piece of greenery or foliage. I feel like there's a tree that kind of drapes over the building or is behind the building in some way. But here's the entrance here where we have this door, it, but it's a, it's a tall building. So it's, it could be at least four stories high. It could be like an apartment building, an office building, a townhouse, townhome, that type of thing. A villa, a villa in, in Spain. I don't know, you know. So 
this suggests to me that uh, this type of a building may be in your future in October. Now, maybe this is a villa, yes, that you're looking at online and you are gonna book a trip and you're gonna go there, maybe not in October, but maybe in the spring or something like that. Uh, this could be a new type of place you're thinking about moving to, a new apartment building. This could be a place where you have a job interview or some other important meeting. As I always say, apply these energies to your life, but it looks like there's something important going on in this particular structure. Now, of course, to me, it looks like a tall building. Um, you know, doesn't have to be necessarily, but it does seem a little more rectangular than square. But this could also be your own home or your own dream home or a place where you're gonna go stay in Airbnb, a little cottage in the woods, you know, something like that. So the key here, I think there's something about this tree the way I'm looking at this piece here that looks like a tree, you know how they're, I mean, I love trees, right? Trees are so protective. I'm so upset about the tree that got cut down over in uh, Northumberland in Britain by Hadrian's Wall. I mean, that gorgeous tree. The trees are so, have such a protective, benevolent influence. Uh, you know, spiritual, they're so strongly spiritual. Uh, so I feel like the fact that this is showing up in the tree kind of behind this house and even this may be like another little one There there just is this protective energy. I feel about this particular Location for you So even if this is someplace new it could play an important part in your life to serve as a place of protection of spiritual well-being of growth even for you in some way so you know that's very that's very interesting all right now let's look at your cup um you know I, I can't possibly analyze every single thing in the teacup otherwise this reading would go on for hours okay so i'm gonna pull out the highlights um and in no particular order it's just you know kind of what's catching my eye the first thing that really caught my eye were these two figures in the cup Notice here's the feet walking. This person looks like they're carrying a backpack here, but then there's another person here and they have another thing they're carrying in front of them. This shape to me, the first one in the front is smaller obviously than the person in the back. That could be a child carrying a suitcase or something, but it also looks like they, with this stick here that they're carrying something else. Maybe they're carrying an umbrella, a baseball bat, a pole, fish, it could be a fishing pole, you know, something like that. Uh, the shape of it also, like this this here, also kind of reminded me a little of a samurai warrior. Um, but in any case, there's two figures here. So this could be you and somebody else, but there this could be new people coming in. There could be people coming to visit you because we have, again, this energy of backpack and then another like type of bag in the front of this person. Maybe you and somebody else are, are going to go on some sort of, um, again, like a backpack trip or a trip you're, you're, you're carrying stuff. Maybe you're helping somebody move. Maybe you are moving this month. Um, that's possible with these particular, these particular energies. Also, because we have the house that's showing up in the bottom here. So some of you, this energy might be that. Uh, but remember, this doesn't have to be you and somebody else. This could also be two people coming to you as well and bringing, bringing stuff. There's definitely stuff here with this backpack and then this other thing. So, uh, you know, could be your friendly uh, Tupperware lady coming and bringing, bringing her Tupperware for you to look at. I mean, you know, whatever you got going on. Okay. Um, yeah, we have several things. I'm trying to do like this in, in a theme here. Um, all right. I would like to draw your attention to the edge of this cup. This is the snake symbol because this, this thing that looks like a cord is wrapped around a branch. And that's what snakes do. They wrap themselves around, around things, as we know. Yeah, a friendly, helpful tip. If you ever get a snake in your house, <laughs> I did this and it worked like a charm. I got this, somehow a green snake got into my house. I don't, I don't know how. Um, and I had sticks in my sliding glass doors so that they were added, you know, security protection. Uh, so I see that, I'm talking on the phone to one of my friends. I see the snake, like, I'm like, where did the snake come from? And I didn't want the dogs to get it. I had dogs at that time. So I grabbed the stick that was in the sliding door thing and the snake starts moving, <laughs> you know, in the living room floor. I put the stick down 
and the snake climbs over the stick. And as it, as it was halfway over the stick, I lifted the stick up and it naturally wrapped itself around the stick. I quick open the sliding door and fling the snake off the stick over the fence into the woods. So if you ever get to have a snake, of course, if it's poisonous, that's a different issue. I, I wouldn't be doing that, but that was a harmless like green snake, whatever. That's very helpful. Okay, but when there's a snake in your midst, you have to take action, even if it's a benevolent snake, because snakes don't belong in the home. Um, you have a snake here and you're taking action on a snake. Uh, we have we have two figures here at the tip of the cup. Now, things that usually show up at the tip of the cup mean that they may occur, if we're looking at a cup for a month time period, they may occur earlier rather than later. So this may be happening maybe within the first week of October. There are, and, and somebody has a little bit of a, of a stick here. So <laughs> maybe to, to catch the snake in some way. But here's not but the, the pieces are not touching exactly but there's a face off uh i think you may be having with somebody who probably is a snake in the grass in some way so you may be confronting somebody about their shenanigans um you know so just be advised on that uh you know and handle it however you need to handle it to get the snake out of your midst Right? You don't want the snake around. Okay. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, this figure, there's a, oh, sugar. There's a figure here and almost looks a little like, I'm getting like Archangel Michael vibes with this figure and also like a sword here and then this big like wing. So um, there, there may be something again that, you know, call on Archangel Michael to help you with anything you got going on. I'm feeling that very strongly to tell you that for this month. Anything you got going on. I mean, it's not all like you got to defend yourself. There's other things going on in this cup, which I will get to. But there could be that. Um, also, because this Archangel Michael is kind of facing the spade, which is legal matters, legal paperwork, there may be something also, some sort of legal battle that you may be going through. Uh you know, defending your rights, defending intellectual property, defending yourself in court, defending, you know, stating your case about a divorce or, you know, or some business thing, whatever. Um, again, if you are, you know, of integrity and, you know, you didn't do anything wrong, um, call upon Archangel Michael to help you with this. Um, but again, there could be something because we have this snake here and then we have this with the legal stuff. This could be something legally connected with this particular fight, so to speak, or this snake that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel you're protected. I feel like it's, you know, it's going to be okay. Um, we have an enormous, oops, I keep touching things with my pointer. We have an enormous goose. I looked at this bird like several times i don't think it's a duck I, th I really think it's a goose because of the way its wings are outspread keep touching it its wings are outspread here and its feet so geese a goose is traditionally a symbol of meeting your goals and of success so and the goose is huge and it's attached to where Mars is. So something that you have been working on, and because the goose is also nearby the snake and the legal stuff, it could signal success, again, over some enemy, so to speak, in a legal context. But also, whatever you have been putting your energy behind Mars and working toward, there could be some really good success happening for you with this big goose. I mean, think about the goose that laid the golden egg. This is where this energy comes from that of success, right? The, the metaphor of the goose. So very exciting there. Um, let's see, like I said, I'm not gonna do every single thing that I'm seeing here. Um, we do have, I mean, this to me looks a little like a turtle right here. Oh, I keep touching that stuff. It looks a little turtle-ish. And then this looks with the curvy tail here looks a little like a porpoise. Um, so I feel like, and it's right on the Saturn symbol, I feel it's gonna be important for you to find some time in your many obligations this month, Saturn, 
and Saturn is about time, that you find some time to slow down the turtle and have a little bit of fun. That's the porpoise. That's the dolphin energy, the playful energy. Uh, it's, you know, all work and no play, as they say, right? It's like you need, you need a little time to slow down because, you know, you got some stuff that's going on and you may need to let off some steam based on those other things that we were, that we were looking at. Um, we do have here with this uh, cup, which can be about parties and celebration. We do have uh, a little stick that's on the, the martini glass. So there could, there could be an opportunity for you to have uh, a social, attend some sort of social event. Uh, we also have, um, we have a little moon. This looks like a moon to me, a little crescent moon on the star. So maybe around the first quarter moon. Uh, there might be some news of success headed your way. That might be very good. Under this piece here, which to me looks like a fish, and here's the hook. This is the cross symbol. And fish can be associated with money. Like think about a big fish. Um, uh, think about like that metaphor about teaching a man to fish, right? And uh, he can support himself. So fish are definitely connected, can be connected with prosperity. But there's a cross here. So there may be something to just be careful of. Cross can symbolize like a danger. Like you got to be aware of it with some sort of financial obligation. Because to me, this looks like a hook here. So don't, again, this is a general reading. You do what you want. I don't tell people what to do. But I suggest, <laughs> I suggest that you think twice before you have some sort of big financial commitment this month. That you take on something you know, some, another monthly payment or some sort of debt or whatever, that you really are realistic about it and that you're not overly greedy. We all can overextend ourselves. I'm not, you know, saying anything about just water signs. Anybody can overextend themselves. You know, we've all been there, done that. But there's something here, I think, because it's such a big fish and it's over the cross. You, you want to be aware of that energy and maybe think twice about it uh, before you commit to something, something big. Uh, some sort of, you know, big financial, financial obligation. Um, let's see. I talked about the two figures there. We do have a, a bird flying here, a little bird here over the Venus symbol. There's the wings. Um, it's, so there could be some good news on the wing. This may be more toward the middle-ish of the month maybe start a scorpio season because it's almost to the bottom of the cup with some sort of news about love or money matters um there is this looks like an aladdin's lamp that's nearby this genie's lamp that's near so there could be some sort of wish coming true uh about a love or money and it's also positioned in between jupiter and venus so there there could be you know a wish news of a wish coming true also for you maybe with love or money Okay, I, I, I'm gonna, you know me, I'm very honest. It's not a huge symbol, so I think it can be something very pleasant and nice. Um, but, you know, again, if the, the symbol's not as big as some other things we have going on in your cup, as an example, but it's there. So that could be very nice. Um, let's see, anything else? Um... Over your moon symbol, which does relate to um, our emotions and it does relate to, um, of course, our home life. Uh, this to me looks like two people, but they're standing very close together. And in fact, these two people look like they're in some sort of tango. They're in some sort of dance. This to me looks like the woman's skirt. Here's the woman's head and her arm going up. Here's the guy or the other woman or the other two guys or, you know, whatever. Okay, <laughs> whatever you got going on. But somebody looks like with this going on here, looks like a big skirt, like flying out. This is like dancing with the stars, like, <laughs> like type energy I got going on here. So there could be some sort of beautiful dance. Again, everything's a metaphor, a beautiful dance going on between you and another person. There could be a literal dance, like you, you go out dancing with somebody. Um, but it could be also a beautiful dance of a rom romance in the home because the moon is here. So there could be a lot of ener romantic energy uh, in the home as well. So, I mean, and the other way, I'm just getting this buzz in my ear. Somebody could be sweeping you off your feet. 
Okay, again, in a, an emotional romantic sense, that could be going on here with this energy because these two figures are very close together. I mean, it's almost hard to distinguish, but here's the head of that person, here's the head of this person. I mean, and here's the skirt and there's the feet. So, I mean, you can see it, I'm sure. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. I think I got pretty much most of the ma major things going on here for you. Yeah. So I think I got it. I think we got it. Water signs. So water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I would love to hear your comments and reactions to your do your tea and tarot reading for the month of, month of October. Here comes trouble. I bet she wants another snack for dinner. Right? You hungry? Okay, see? All right. Well, <laughs> it's time to end our reading and our time together. But I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for all the support of the channel. It means so much to both Ariel and me. All right. Love you guys. See you again soon. Stella Wild and Miss Ariel signing out.